Hi guys, let's take a look at some different ways to propagate Christmas cactus plants. When taking cuttings, use a sharp disinfected knife. Always sterilize the knife between plants to prevent disease transmission. Remove sections of the plant consisting of two to four stem segments. Then wrap each individual cutting in a paper towel. Paper towels are absorbent, fibrous, and biodegradable, so they won't harm the plant. Here's how to prepare the holding container for our cuttings. Mist with water and place in a dry, dark area for up to three weeks. Make sure to check and mist during this time so that they remain moist. After the allotted time has passed, you should see new root growth. Did you know that with proper care, a Christmas cactus can live for 20 to 30 years? This cactus requires specific conditions. It needs a period of darkness for 12 hours a day. Here's a great hack to make potting holes in soil. Just press the glass into the soil and remove. Plant the cuttings together. This ensures the cactus will fill out the pot faster and grow bushy. Then water to bed in the cuttings. Place in a dry area and a few months later you will notice substantial growth. Check out this orange juice hack. Cut and squeeze fresh oranges. Then dab the juice onto the tips of the leaves with a Q-tip. Orange juice is high in nutrients and vitamins. It will encourage and help flower buds to form and grow. Pour the excess juice into the soil for an extra nutrition boost. After around two weeks, buds will form on the plant. Water every one to two weeks. Allow the soil to dry out at least halfway down between waterings. After a further two weeks, the cactus should be in bloom. The Apuntia ficus indica is a species of cactus that becomes tree-like over time. We'll use this segment to graft in our Christmas cactus cutting. First, we'll prepare the container. This hack prevents soil from falling out, but still allows water to drain. Fill the pot with a mix of compost and perlite. Perlite adds aeration and increases drainage. After planting the segment, slice and remove a thin section from the head of the cactus. Then widen the incision in readiness for the cutting. Prepare the cutting by separating into segments. Then place directly into the cactus incision.
Always use clean, sterile instruments when making cuts. Water the plant to secure and bed in. Around two months later, the union between the cacti will be sealed. Once the joining wounds have healed, no special grafted cactus care is required. Simply care for it as you would any other plant. For our next propagation method, pour filtered water into a container. Then cover with plastic wrap and seal. Next, prepare the cuttings by separating at the joints. Pierce and slice gaps into the plastic, wide enough for the cuttings to sit in. Place the cuttings into the slits so that they are touching the water. Then place in a dark, dry area for up to three weeks. Filtered water is preferred as it doesn't contain chemicals that can be found in tap water. After the allotted time, the cuttings will have formed roots. Once the roots are a couple of inches in length, they're ready to be potted. Place a growing disc into a pot and add water to expand. The disc will provide the cuttings with valuable nutrients and minerals as they grow. Once the soil has expanded, fill individual containers and pot the cuttings. Firmly press the soil to secure and hold the cutting in place. As the cactus grows, mist the leaves to maintain the desired humidity level. After three to four weeks, new growth will have appeared. Christmas cacti can reach a spread of two feet within only a few years. Our final propagation method is rooting stem cuttings in soil. This is an easy and most popular method when propagating Christmas cacti. Start by taking stem cuttings from a healthy plant. Cut off or pinch off each section at a joint. Grow your cuttings in a well-drained soil mix, rich in organic matter. Perlite is a naturally occurring mineral that improves drainage. Mixing perlite is crucial for cacti as they are susceptible to root rot. When repotting, plant the cutting half buried into the soil. Then spray with a misting of water. Place in a location that receives bright but indirect light. One month later, you will see signs of new growth on the stems.
A further five months, buds will appear. Ensure your plant has finished flowering before attempting to propagate. Enjoy your cacti growing. Hope to see you soon.